Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle for Friday the 26th of November 2021. It's been a frustrating day for me, an annoying day because first of all I was supposed to get emergency work and then it didn't come and I waited and waited and when it didn't come I sent a message saying where's this emergency work and they said oh we don't need it wait until tomorrow, uh, wait until, uh, you can wait until Monday, and I thought, oh, okay, great, maybe I'll go swimming or something, and I'll just relax a little bit first, and after a bit of relaxing message, we changed our mind, we want the urgent work now, okay, so it's been an annoying day when I've messed up my eating schedule and everything, else, every other kind of schedule as well, but we are here to play Sudoku in a Zen style, which means we shall calm our minds and forget about the troubles of the day and focus on some uh, focus on the game in a way uh, that takes our mind off of our regular problems, shall we? So uh, I'm going to start now that I've chatted to you for a little while and that is my technique for finding today's first number and I've found it. This is of course the Los Angeles Times Expert Level Puzzle. Did I say that? I can't remember. Anyway, sevens block up here and there's only one white space left. So that's the square where we must place our seven. Um. Hold on, I'll be there in just a second. I haven't gone away. I'm just looking for the next easy number. I'm sure there will be one. When I say I'm sure that there'll be one, I am not sure, of course. That was a lie. I told you to just stop you from disappearing. Uh, same old Ah, there we go. Next easy one. Right, okay, so nine, finally. Nine blocks these squares from being nine, right? And this nine blocks this square. So nine's got to appear in this square for this column. Of course, that's the only place it can, can go. Okay, three missing numbers here. Look to be one, six, and eight. We have an intersecting one and an intersecting six. So if this square can't be one, can't be six, must be eight. Ah, the nine, I should have noticed this immediately, of course, nine across like this and up and down like so. That's got to be a nine there. Okay, let's highlight the numbers and see uh, how they look. See how they run, like Lady Madonna. I'm seeing some opportunities to place paired candidates for seven, but um, and for eight. Um, 
dates and millennium. Okay, um, I think I'm gonna hit the pencil marks. Let me just have a quick look at, uh, if there's anything else first. Uh, you know, if, if possible, I try to put in as few pencil marks as I can. And so that means uh, trying to examine, ah, okay, so in this row, one and three are two of the missing numbers and they're both in this uh, block here. So one and three must be a pair in these squares here. So if this is one and three, what's left must go in here and that's got to be six and eight. So we've got intervening, inter intersecting eight here. So that's the eight and that's got to be the six. Okay, that's a bit better. Okay, so now the four blocks here, so four is going to be in one of these two squares, which would block up there, four across there, four across there, and across there, so that's got to be a four. Uh, I think I'm going to highlight again, just uh, one more time before I go ahead and put in um, pencil marks. Hold on a second, what's missing up here? Uh, one, two, one, two, three, five, seven, is that right? One, two, five, one, two, seven, six. Mm. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna uh, very, very swiftly um, rotate through these digits and I'll just see if there's anything else before I hit the pencil marks, which is my next stage. Keeping this seven. Ah, now we have got seven. Okay, seven up here, seven across here. So now we can place the seven there. Couldn't do it before, can now. Uh, I know the nines are selected. I'm not actually looking at nines though. I'm looking at other things. Just one more column to double check. Uh, we are missing three, seven, eight, nine. Three, seven, eight, nine. Ah, there we go. Seven, nine, and eight. Okay. Seven, nine, and eight. So if this can't be seven, nine, or eight, it's got to be three because that's the only other number that we need for this column. Well, I seem to be going very slowly, and I apologize for my lack of uh, rapidity. But, um, 
well, I haven't got anything else to do today. <laughs> so uh, I'm taking my time, whether you like it or not. Squares eight and nine. Mm. Um, right then, pencil mark time. Let's get with it. Okay, one blocking down here, one blocking across here. Let's fill in the candidates where they can possibly go. One, this could be in those squares there. There are no other pairs. Now, two could be a pair in those squares because of this. Uh, because of sorry, this. Uh, um, two blocking across that row, I should say. Um, that's it. Threes, three blocks this square, three blocks this square, and three blocks up here. So a pair of threes are possible like that. Um, any more? I think so. Four. Four blocking down here, blocking down here, and blocking across here. So that's a pair of fours there. Four, as I noted before, um, up here. Um, that's it. Fives. Um, hmm. Can't really tell much on five. So six is six blocks across here, across here. So a pair of sixes are possible there. Six blocking down here and down here. So I'm going to put six in that column, not a pair, but it is in a straight line column. And I think that's uh, an important aspect. So I should just leave, put it in anyway. Sevens. Now, uh, I noted some stuff. Okay, so seven across here, seven across here. So we've got a pair of sevens here. Uh, seven down here and seven down here, so we can certainly place candidate sevens in those squares. Seven across here and across here, I means seven is somewhere in that top row. Um, okay, that's all we can find. Eight now, eight blocking down here and down here, so eight in those squares. Eight blocking across here and across the top row, so a pair of eights are available there, here, and here. Aha, that's going to be useful. So we've got eights here. So now would you notice, you see this uh, little triangle, little square here, it's eights. That means that in this lower um, block in the chute, uh, we must fit the eight into one of these two squares. It's got to be in the right-hand column, um, because it's not available here. OK, and every other number is filled anyway. So. Uh, what else? Eight blocking down here, eight blocking down here. So eight is a pair like that. That's annoying. When you see this kind, if you see this pattern here, two in the bottom and middle row, top and bottom and top and middle. It's very annoying because you can't resolve any patterns like that. <laughs> you'll learn if you're a newcomer to Sudoku, you'll see that that's a kind of an annoying thing. Nine blocks across. Here like this, nine blocks across here like this. Aha, we have a pair of nine and seven at last. I'm going to carry on with these nines while I'm at it. Nine blocking across here. So nine is in that row there. And uh, nine blocking up this column here and across here. So nine is also a pair there. Uh, but now we've got to come back to this. Seven and nine is now exclusively seven or nine. Nothing else is available. So when we look at this three blocking across here, we know the three must be placed in that square because it can't it can't be in either of these two squares and it blocks across here. Okay, so now three has got to be a pair there since we're blocking across here and across here, right? Uh, and three now blocks down here and down here, so we also can put it in that column somewhere, although we can't limit it to a pair just yet. 
Uh, now we also know the missing number because there's only one other digit that's not found there, and that's a one. So we know the one goes here, and now we can say, of course, one is the only missing number from this row as well. So now if one blocks up there, that's going to give us a pair of ones there. And so down here, that's our one to find. This can't be one any longer. One must be in here, and eight must be here. And we must remove candidate one from there. And now we can place one up here, up here. So there's our one to select the correct mode, if I can speak properly. And delete one there and place the one there. And then one blocking across here and across here like this. Oops. So that's our one. So that gives me an eight in this square or one in this square. And uh, okay, we did a lot there, didn't we? Let's just click on that eight. What's going on now? So this eight means this must be removed. Eight goes here. This can't be eight any longer, so we have to clear it. And this is the only place where an eight can go now. And of course, this eight up here is deleted, and this eight will be a completed digit now. So both one and eight are completed digits. So, okay, a pretty good start, I would say. Um, seven and Okay, so the missing numbers here and here in this column are 7 and 9, but we have an intersecting 9 right here, so we know that's our 9, and this has got to be our 7 here now, which means we can remove candidate 7 from here, put 7 in here. Uh, this game is working out quite well because we haven't had to fill in all the candidates. Uh, it's better if you don't need to do that if you can just fill in some candidates to guide you along your path I think is a, a useful thing uh, if you have to fill in lots and lots of candidates it can get very confusing uh, we still might have to actually I mean you know it could still be the case but anyway um, Right, of course, this is the only uh, missing uh, um, empty square, I should say, from this column. So that is, in fact, a 6. So we've got to remove the 6 from there. Um, missing numbers here are 4 and 5. We can't really do anything about those, just yet. And also the 5 is missing here. Not much we can do about that yet. Down here. Okay, so the three blocks down here, so one of these two squares must be a three, meaning that can't be a three, but that must be a three. Okay, I'm not asleep, I promise. Uh, okay, so let's uh Let's have a few more candidates, shall we? Um, just I think we're going to need them to uh, complete the game. So uh, let's try down here. Um, we've got two blocking across here. Oh, okay, now let's let's fill in the ones that are easy first. Four and five go there. Uh, missing number here is five as well. Um, the three blocks this square here, so three is a pair there as I mentioned, and the other missing numbers are, oh, ah, 
six blocks down here as well. Oh, that's good. I didn't see that. So six is actually a pair there. So this has got to be a five then. And this is our two. Okay, and uh, let's get rid of candidate two there. And uh, so four, five, four, five. Okay, great. So we now we've got a unique rectangle. We've got four, five, four, five, four, five, and three, four, five. So we know that's a three. So we'll put that in immediately. And we'll remove candidate three from there. Okay. And um, what else is going on here? Oh, we can find this number because we, get, we know this is a unique pair of three and six. So whatever's left has to go there. And what's left is five. If I choose the correct mode, I can put it in. There we go. And now five blocks across here. So this is a pair of fives up here. So whatever's left goes here. And what's left is two. Okay. Uh, now, if we don't get have a nine in this column and nine blocks of square here, we know that nine has got to go there. And we can remove that there. Um, how many other nines are? Nines are down here. Okay. Now we just got one number to get uh, in this row, and it looks to me to be a six. Okay. And this six is going to block this square here, so that's a six there. Missing number here is um, two. And uh, can we finish off the twos yet? No, not quite. But we can say that this two blocks this square here, so two goes here. And five is the last number for that block, giving us a four here, a five here. Sorry, one number five here. Four there, five there. I have to keep these automatic error detection things. I'm just for pressing the wrong key. Even, you know, I, I'm telling you what number I'm pressing and I'm pressing the wrong button. So you can see it's just a, you know, human error of uh, keying uh, rather than anything else. Not, not a mistake in logic. I just can't hit the right button sometimes. It must be over excitement, which is not good when you're supposed to be Zen-like. Six is the last number we need for this column. It gives us a three there. And a six here, of course, and that six blocking across here and across here is going to put six there, and we can remove the sixes from there. Now, if we have a nine blocking this square, we know that that's got to be a nine. Okay, and one number left uh, to get here, it's going to be a three, isn't it? Okay, and then this three, of course, this three blocks the square here, so three is in fact there. Um, okay, what's left? This nine means that this can't be a nine, that's got to be a seven. Now the nine is here, seven will give us a seven in that square. And five is the last number we need for that block. And that will block all the way down here and five across here. So that puts a five in that square there. And four is the last number for this column. And two is the last number for this block. And two stops that from being a two. So two is here. And to finish the game, uh, what do we need? We need a four. Thank you very much for joining me. Um, the uh, Los Angeles expert level puzzle is still not that late here. I didn't go swimming, although I had intended to go swimming. Just as I said, all my time was messed up. But um, I can't be bothered now. I'm not in a swimming mood anymore, even though I could actually go. The water will be nice and warm. It's only early evening here. Um, but I might even play another game later on if I'm in the mood. I've got nothing much to do that needs to be done. So I may be back later. Maybe. Anyway, if not, I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye-bye.